Wagwan real fam Welcome back to my channel I've got some hair advice for you guys today It's been a while I want to give you guys some hair advice This is one of those topics that some people debate over I see why they debate over it But for me, it has worked Black women Stop combing your hair so much like literally, I don't mean period. I don't mean don't comb your hair, period. But literally, stop combing and brushing your hair so much. The reason why is because you will lose a lot more hair than what you're gaining. I know that seems kind of ridiculous, but you will. In my experiences, when I stopped combing my hair a lot, my hair finally started growing to the thickness that it was supposed to be like over 10 years ago. Mind you, I've had five kids. I've had five kids, so the density of my hair has been kind of, eh, it's been shot for some time, a very long time. And when I decided to not comb my hair as much, the density literally started coming back like, I can't begin to tell you how, how thin my hair used to be compared to now. My roots are coming in better and everything else. And I have bleached hair. You just can't tell because I dyed it like a darker blue recently and it's starting to fade. Um, I have purple, I have purple as well on the ends. And uh, yeah, my hair has been very thin because of previous bleaching and because I had five pregnancies and you know lack of nutrients. Um, kids just drain a lot from you. That's just what it is. And my hair has not been as thick as it is now. Now it's in a blow dried state, so you can't really tell the density at, the, at this point. But my hair is a lot more dense than what it used to be, and I'm enjoying that. Now, I started, I stopped religiously combing my hair. Now, I don't mean religiously as in I was combing my hair all, every day. You know, I was not combing my hair every damn day. I would comb it. Uh, mostly only on wash days and I wash my hair once a week I wash my hair once a week and I would use a wide tooth comb uh, to detangle my hair in the shower and then I would use a brush to style I would use a, a comb or a brush to do any style a braise, twist, whatever and I would style my hair for the week and then I would wash it again that was my routine for many years sometimes I would do it twice a week but I had been seeing a lot online about when you don't comb your hair, you know, you retain thickness, um, your roots are coming back, you know, all these wonderful things. And I just got to a point where I'm like, you know what? I mean, I wasn't losing that much hair anyway. I'm not one of those people that gets like a huge ball of hair when I um, wash it. When I detangle, I don't get a huge monster load of hair to where I'm just freaking scared. No. I don't do that. I don't, um, it's usually like a little bit light. You see this little hair tie here? Usually I'll get a little bit more than this as far as hair fall every week. And that was okay with me. I was fine with it. But what was concerning me still was the thickness. My hair was just not as thick. And I'm like, I'm not going out here buying, you know, ABC type of oil that promises to get my hair thicker. I'm not wasting money on extra products that claim to get my hair thicker. When I know there's something I can do at home to get it thicker. So I, I keep using my own, um, hair oil that I make from home. I've been using that for years. A lot of good stuff in it. There's no need to me go out and buy 50 different oils that claim to grow my damn hair long and thick because no, I don't have time for that. So I decided to try um, not combing and it has worked. Yo, I don't comb my hair every wash day anymore. I don't brush my hair every wash day. I haven't combed my hair as of uh, before yesterday when I, I mean before, two days ago, when, before I blow dried my hair, I hadn't combed my hair in three months. Like no comb at all, no comb or brush. I hadn't combed and brushed in three months. And y'all, my hair has flourished. I'm telling you, my roots have flourished so much. 
they are so thick now and I'm so grateful because this is just something simple that we don't really think about, you know, because when you comb and brush a lot, you're losing extra hair. You're pulling out more hair that didn't have to be because, you know, you're just combing it out. But when you finger detangle, you get to feel every knot. You get to feel the knots and you get to be gentler and, you know, you're not pulling out extra hair, you know, with the comb and brush. The, um, the combs and brushes pull out extra hair that doesn't need to be. And it causes a lot of extra breakage with your fingers. You're not causing any breakage. You're just using your fingers. You know, you go slow and you stop and you feel a knot and you just keep going slow and you take your time with your hair. Take your damn time. Stop rushing. Stop putting yourself in a situation where you have to rush. And I didn't even ever really rush my routines. At least I don't think so. I don't think I rushed. But again, my hair just was not thriving in the density in the density area, you know? And now it is. Like I said, I hadn't combed or brushed my hair in three months. I'm still washing weekly. I just haven't combed or brushed in three months. And the results are astounding. So I suggest you guys try it. If you're having trouble with thinning hair, you're, you're a mom like me, you've had a lot of kids, you know, the nutrients are just not flowing properly the way they used to. Stop combing. Try to stop combing, especially if you have type 3 hair, because with type 3 hair, it's much easier to finger to tangle. I know tighter curl patterns can do it. Of course, I've seen many women do it, but for us, it's like, it's cakewalk, you know? Just split your hair into sections and just finger to tangle. Take your time. And I promise you, you'll see results. You, have, you will see results. There's a lot of women out there that get results from just finger to tangling. Put that comb down, put that brush down. Stop buying every single new detangling brush on the market because that's how they get you. There's so many detangling brushes nowadays. There's just so many. And you're tempted to try them all, and you should not try them all. Like seriously, stop trying to try every every detangler, every unbrush, every denman. It's not necessary, y'all. It's just ripping your hair out in the end. It took me this long to figure this out, and I've been natural for damn near what, 15 years? I haven't had a perm in 15 years, 16 years probably. And I just now decided to stop doing this and it's been phenomenal, so please, I suggest you try it. And come back to me with the results. Try not going your hair for, you know, just take your time and do what you can and try it first. You know, see if you like it and then if you like the results, just keep doing it. Why not? What have you got to lose? What do you got to lose? You know, nothing. This is my opinion, you know. So yeah, my hair is flourishing a lot. So um, I plan to come back and talk more about it and probably show you my hair in its curly state. You know, it's not blue dried and go more into depth about why my hair, I mean, how my hair got this way and probably show you old pictures, but you guys can go back and see my older videos. You can see my hair. And you can see the density is not there. You can tell. So, I'm just grateful. I'm so grateful now. Like, you can't tell, but it's just... The roots, y'all, have not been that thick. I'm just, just so happy. Alright, that's all I got for now. That's all I got for you guys today. <sighs> I hope you have a great day, week, second, month, hour, and... Wait, <laughs> thank you for watching. Peace out.